Playing vanilla WWE 2K24 universe mode is very frustrating, but if you create some certain match types to use in universe mode along with a match table, you're going to have a very different experience and you're going to have a great time. The first thing we want to do is make some custom matches. So we go to custom matches, we do a new one. Um, we're going to do a 1v1 and this will be a backstage brawl. And what we will do is pin a submission off. Uh, off there and finisher to win. So you're basically trying to, you know, hit your finisher first and then you'll win that brawl. Um, you could do no limit on there just to keep it kind of there. Um, finishers to start. You can kind of decide what you want. I think playing with this would probably be the best to do one and then your health would be low um, just because there it is. And then doesn't matter because you're backstage. And then there you go. So there's the setup of it. Everything's off except finisher to win. And then one finisher will let you hit it there. Um, you could probably add KO on if you wanted to have a little bit of a brawl. Uh, if you want, depending on how long you want it to go. But like you do a long or a short backstage brawl. So this would be like a uh, segment kind of on the show. It just kind of depends on how you want to do it. Um, so health is low. And finisher to start is one. We're going to name this as Backstage Brawl. And there's that. We'll save that one. I like that one. That's pretty good. Let's do another custom match. Let's do the in-ring brawl one. We'll just do a normal match here. Uh, turn everything off. Count out. Off, 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 off. Everything looks good there. Perform finisher to win would be on again. Um, that's just kind of like a brawl in the ring. As we know. DQ off, rope break off, ring out, no count, time limit, no limit, entrance run on. Um, you could turn these on because it's just a brawl. So it doesn't really matter. You could leave them all on. That's fine. Make things kind of interesting, maybe. I don't know. Could work out good. And we'll accept that. Finisher one and low health to start. And we'll just get all the weapons here. Get a microphone, we'll get a chair, we'll get a table, we'll get a trash can, kendo stick, and a guitar. That works for me. All right, all that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and accept that. We'll uh, name this as In Ring Brawl. That works for me. Another one I want to do here is uh, just a new one. We'll do one on one, normal match. Um, for this one, we'll do both. Everything will be good. Um, KO, I actually don't mind being on. But we'll leave it off. These are just default rules for this. DQ on, 10 count, uh, time limit. So this could be very interesting depending on how you want to play it out. Um, no limit probably is the best. I don't know how they do that. But uh, you, know, you could set certain time limits for matches if you want. Run-ins if you want them on or off. Um, I'd probably say just off for these, um, just to have it interesting. I mean, you can turn it on and have a little bit of chaos, but I'll just turn them all off. Um, for these, we'll do no limit just to have it like this. Um, health will leave it high. So this is just basically a normal match, but what I'm going to do here, yeah, we'll, we'll just replace all the weapons cause why not? Uh, chair, kendo, ladder, table, trash can, kendo, uh, stop sign. There you go. That's fine. The weapons don't really matter. Now we'll name this uh, number one contender match. So this would be something that you would probably want to change. Number one contender match. Um, this is something you'd probably want to change um, just, you know, as you want to put it on there. So if you're in a feud or whatever and you want to have a guy have a number one contender match and be the contender for that title, you could do that. There you go. Number one contender. And we'll do another match here. I'm going to do a 1v1 normal match. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to set this at a 15 minute time limit. Um, you could do 30, but honestly, I don't know how long you're going here. Unless you're playing on super legend difficulty. Um, so 
what this is going to be is we're going to make a proving ground match. So what you need to do is it will be a wrestler versus a champion. If he wins the match, he will be able to get a title match. Uh, he's got to either last the time limit or win the match, and then he'll get a title match. That's the proving ground that we're going to do. Uh, 20 minute could be good. We'll do 15, maybe 10. I'll start with 15. I'll need to adjust it if I need to. And so this is just going to be a normal setup here. This is just going to be a proving ground. Um, again, doesn't really matter. I mean, does not matter to me. So we'll accept that and we'll save it as a proving ground, which I like. Because this will make some interesting stuff here if you want to do this in your universe mode. Um, it'll just keep it very fun. So this is like, you literally have to set this up to go against the champion. Um, and then that's how that works. I think it's a cool concept. It makes for interesting stuff. And you could just, you know, anybody could have a proving ground match. You don't even have to be a number one contender. They could just, hey, yo, I want a proving ground match. All right. And there they go. Now they got the proving ground. So now we need to set up our tag team stuff. I think that's pretty good on this. As far as like the rest of these go, depending on how you want to play it out, there's different things you could do. So if you want to do like singles, you can do a Money in the Bank qualifier, uh, gauntlet tournament. You can name all these different match types just so you know when you're playing it. Okay, this is a tournament match. What I'm thinking more is like tournament. So it says it on Universe Mode, like this is a tournament match. Um, it'll keep it very interesting. So if you're doing like an actual tournament, you could set it up and it'd just be like a tournament match. I'll probably set one up here. Um, normal. Just, you know, this is just literally just going to be a normal match. So it doesn't matter. So we'll just name this as tournament. So there you go. You got your tournament match, which I like. And then... We'll do a new one. Now we got to do the tag stuff. So now you got all your matches set up. You can get into the universe mode. You can actually set up your match table here. So nine matches, whatever you want to do on that. Um, that's up to you. So we'll go to our match table. And you see we have these settings here for this stuff. Um, what I do like here is rivalry matches. So I think that's where the interesting stuff comes in here is the rivalry stuff. So literally... With the rivalry, I would set up the cool stuff that we just created. So I do the 1v1, and I do the custom match, and I do the in-ring brawl. And then I'd probably, like what they have it set up is 25%. And then that should just be one. Um, and then we have a backstage brawl also, which is good. We'll set that as 25%. And that'll give us one. Um, and then you could do your 1v1 extreme rules. And like a 1v1 steel cage match. Whatever you want to do. Again, these are just brawls. Or just like stuff here. And then just a 1v1 normal match. Because this will keep things pretty interesting. Just give us those normal matches most of the time. Um, yeah. And then the rest you can just go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So in ring brawl, you have 25% chance of that. In a backstage brawl, 25% chance of that. Keep rivalries very interesting and keep things flowing on that. And for the 2v2 rivalry, We'll kind of do the same thing as well. There you go. That looks good. All right. So we're. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, you could tweak these as you want. No, um, let's just go with that. Okay. I'll change the percents here in a minute. I like these percents though. Just like, cause you get some in-ring brawls, you get some normal matches. This is for rivalries. So makes sense for the rivalry stuff so let's see what else we got here for just normal matches we're going here i think this is pretty good actually so you have more you have one tag match on the show if you do um and there you go there it is we'll save that our match stuff looking pretty good 
Um, divisions championships. I don't know if I'd have that many matches. Thinking about a card here or how you would do it. Six or seven matches. So maybe six matches would be good on here. We're just going to run the raw brand right now. And we'll kind of look at the the uh, the table here. We'll go to edit shows, raw. And we'll go to divisions. So right now. Um, for raw, we have. Seth Rollins is the champion and Jay Uso is number one. So what I'm going to do is I will set up a proving ground match for the first one um, and see if he can win that. If he wins it, he will be number one contender and then we'll start him in a rivalry. What I'll do is I will edit the match, customize the match, and we will change it to a proving ground match, which I like and we'll accept it. There it is. Okay. So proving ground matches there. The robbery action actually went away by us editing that, but that's okay. So we got a triple threat. We got a couple singles matches for the women, another women's match, triple threat. And I actually would like to change one of these. Um, I'm just going to edit this, customize the match and make a, uh, actually want to start the show with a backstage brawl just to keep it interesting. This is fine with me. Uh, Reveille action start. We'll add an action. Uh, for Jay Uso, we'll add an action. Okay. Let's do that. Pre-match respect. That works for me. So they're going to get pre-match respect. Works for me. All right. There it is. Seth Rollins is going to show pre-match respect, which I think is pretty cool. So there you go. Let's go ahead and start this up, see what it looks like here as we are doing our first universe mode here just to kind of see how it plays out. Um, and we'll start the show. So first thing I want to do is check out our backstage brawl. Chelsea Green and Caden Carter are arriving in the arena together. And let's see what happens here. And here we go. Universe mode has begun. Oh my, the brawl has begun. The brawl is here and they're fighting out. Oh, Chelsea Green with the attack and the finisher backstage. Chelsea Green gets the better of her. Is that all it's going to do? Let's try it one more time. See what it plays out here. And here they go. They meet in the backstage and Chelsea Green with the ambush and the attack. She's going to throw her over here. Oh, just throws her into the, into the backstage as they both here arrive at the building. And a little fight there. Oh, clothesline from Chelsea Green. Here she goes on Prettier. She's going to do the on Prettier. Chelsea Green. I like the way that one played out. So we'd probably use that in our cutscene if we do universe mode that way. Like that. Um, yeah. Wow. That was pretty good. I like that. And then we got our Proving Ground match. Now, if you remember, I think it's a 15-minute time limit. If Jey Uso can win the time limit, he will become number one contender. Otherwise, he is not number one contender. If he can pin him or submit Seth Rollins, he will be number one contender as well. So let's go ahead and check this out. We also have a rivalry action, which will put us here in the pre-match respect. Because this is proving ground. Seth Rollins, Jey Uso here, setting it up. And this is going to be cool. Here we go. Oh, they're going to show some sportsmanship to show it off here. It's a proving ground. You love to see it. Come back from Seth Rollins. Come back, Sling Blade. Oh, is he going to go up for Frog Slash? No, he's going for the pin off the Sling Blade. Oh, and Seth Rollins wins. That means that Jey Uso is not the number one contender. We did not make it into number one contender territory. 
Well, I just wanted to show off a little bit of the match table and creating custom matches to make universe mode a lot more fun. What I really like is being able to make custom matches that show up in universe mode and you know exactly what match type it is, whether it's a number one contender, a proving ground match like we did, or if it's going to be something a little bit different like that brawl. The brawls are good for rivalries. I wouldn't necessarily set them up all the time. I might increase the numbers, the percentage chance that they show up because I think you might want more brawls in a rivalry, but I was just kind of showing off what you could do here with this. I think there's a lot of room to tweak this and make it a lot better than what I have here, but if you guys do enjoy this and you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section below.